We are entirely no. forced by cause and effect. Are you going to answer the question? Is anyone no, forcing not you? not one person. Is anyone forcing you to speak to me right because now? Because you're loading the question with a person. No, it's not a loading, loading it is, anything. It's a, very, it's a very simple question. The answer question. is no, but that implies Good. I have free will, which I don't. No, no. If no one is forcing you... If something is predetermined and there's a punishment... If no one is forcing you... It can't be free will. If no one is forcing you, then you cannot say someone has snatched away your free will. If something is predetermined... There you go. And you, you know, you guys, you guys are contradicting you are buying, yourself. No, you are. You guys are contradicting yourself because you do not understand understand that this free will which is a which is actually a gift to every human being regardless of whether they're good or evil is something that you should have gratitude for we can because the angels haven't been given this free will we can the angels, free will or the angels, not all the angels who, are, we don't have who, who live their entire yeah, life maybe prostrating and praying to God, the they haven't been given this free will which human beings have been given regardless of whether you're good or evil. So take this free will, take this free will and make the most of it. Do not question Allah what he's going to do to you now when you have the chance to do and obey him. Before you were born, did Allah know what you were going to do? Allah knows everything. So he knew what you were going to do? Allah knows everything. but. Do you know? Before you were born. Do you know? Of course I don't know. Good. If you don't know, know, wait a minute. If you don't know, why do you think negatively that you're going to have hell? I didn't say that. Wait, wait, who, wait, who Should you not? Okay. You Should you not work for no, going to paradise? But we can't. It's predetermined. It's predetermined. Yeah, but you don't know that. You, what is predetermined? How do you know you're going to paradise or hell? How do you know that? No, Allah knows you're going to go red. No, but how do you know that? Because it says in the Quran, doesn't it? No, because everything He's all knowing. No, 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 you don't understand my question. My question is not whether Allah is predetermined. My question is, how do you know what He's predetermined for you? Isn't it predetermined in your... Um, oh my God. In, in do these guys not understand simple English? I don't listening. mean to be condescending. It's a, it's a very simple I question. Listen. I couldn't if, listen to this. So it's I'm, a paradox. Listen, listen, listen to the question again. Do you, did you know that you were going to come to the park here? Did you know you were going to come to the park here? Yeah. No, but Good. Allah. So you you made the intention to come to the park on a Sunday. Yeah. Yes, okay. you knew that. Did someone force you to do that? Good. So is that by your free will or without your free will? So what was the problem then? Okay, <laughs> ten years ago, he knew that he was going to come. The problem. problem is that simple test I gave you. You can't answer it. It's simple test. Element. Very simple. X and Y. I, I get answer that already. You didn't. But it's not you you made a no big mistake. Allah knows I will no choose said. X, therefore I cannot choose but Y. But do you know what you were going to? Wait, do you know? Now I know. No, it does. Should I tell you why? The paradox is not about me. It's about Allah. No, no, no. Did somebody force you to choose X? It's a loaded question. It's not a loaded question. Very simple question. You have two choices. You have two choices to choose to choose X and Y. You have two choices. Did anybody force you to choose either X or Y? Yes. Who? The, the environment. What environment? The cause and effect. What environment? There's only everything. The, the environment was it was hidden from right you, back and you didn't know which you didn't know in which hand was X or you didn't know which hand was Y. Did anyone force you to pick any one of the hands? Shim, it's infinite regression, man. It goes right. No, back. it's not infinite regression. Come it on, is. that's completely a false equivalence here. No, it's not. What I'm saying is that if no one forced you, then it's free will. Yeah, but simple. you're bringing in but this. It's a punishment element, isn't it? It's a paradox for you actually, no, but it's not no, paradox no, no, for me. No, it's a paradox for you. No, it's very simple for me. For me, it was a clear choice. Is there a punishment? You don't have a choice because Allah has the answer. There's Allah, no choice. I've already made this very clear that Allah has made the the consequence of not obeying Him clear, and Allah has made the the reward. Let me finish. Allah has made the reward and the punishment both very clear for obedience and disobedience to Allah. This is clear. So it's not something that you have been given a test which is unfair to you. Actually, can we just ask you, another question? Let me finish this question. It's not unfair test. The test is very clear. You have been given a choice in this life to either disobey or obey Allah. You have been given a guidance. You have been sent to this earth unguided. You have been given a guidance. And this guidance is for you, for your free will, for your own self to either choose to obey or disobey. If anyone can, if anyone tells you that you have been forced to disobey or forced to obey, then you will go to ask your own conscience. We know the Who is this forcing me? We know the religious Who is forcing me? No, it's not. You don't. For you, as far as you're concerned, no. all this matter doesn't even mean anything. That's correct. Yes. So why are you worried about it? <laughs> because it's why a paradox. Are you well, it's a paradox. What if, for why? you, it's a paradox. Well, even if it's a paradox, why are you worried about? It? You're just a matter. Do you accept? For you, it's just matter. Of, Hashim, do you accept it's predetermined? Everything is predetermined. Everything. Predetermined. Everything's predetermined. Therefore, we have no free don't... will. That's the definition. <laughs> exactly. That's the definition of free will. It's not predetermined. I've responded. I've responded to this many times. You can't have it both ways, I, no, brother. I've responded. I'm sorry. I've responded to this many Can times. Can I use an example? Wait, wait, wait. He gave an example of choosing X or Y. Okay, yes. Let's say yes. I have a baby. If, if, if he didn't know which hand was X and Y, and no one forced him to choose, then as far as you're concerned, no one forced you, right? 
you keep saying you see he won't he won't answer that he will say that is a loaded question because he knows that goes against his against his no, analogy it doesn't it does no one there forced you thank you but I mean, You just have to ponder over every decision you make. There's there's a precursor to it, so there's a reason why it's an antecedent. You came to here. No, no, I'm asking you. How was it forced? Let's define force. Let's define force. Force means to coerce someone into doing something against their will. Do you agree with that definition? Coercion. Okay. So when he was asked to choose between X and Y, was there any coercion? As far as he's concerned, was there any coercion? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, you have to look at the history that leads up to that decision. I mean, what history? If you take something simple as uh, the shirt you're wearing, the yeah. decision you made, or the food you like, yeah. really just, there are reasons why you like it. It's because of the environment you were brought up in. There's a reason why you're Muslim. No, no, you, you misunderstood my question. Oh, when I when I define coercion to you, yeah. yes, you you agree with the definition that you're not yeah. forced into doing something that is against your will. There can be no coercion. If okay, so if it's if it is someone, for example, if if this shirt I was to wear, yes, by my own will, no one, if no one forced me to do it, can I say that I wore it out of my own volition? Uh, I think you guys really have to define what force is. You, you accept predetermination no, no, you, and you claim you have to you have to explain to me what is force. Whatever you do, the punishment of eternal hell. No, forget that now. What is force? What is force in the actions that you carry out in this world? Okay, so did you have a choice for the T-shirt you're wearing today? No, no, not really. So in your wardrobe, that was the only no, T-shirt. No, not really about it, brother. Wait, wait. It's is zero. that the only T-shirt in your wardrobe? No, there's a bunch. So you didn't have choice to wear another no. other no, you, clothing. No, you stopped your thinking right there. Stop. Okay, and then right there. and then what? Well, I didn't I stop. Mean, there's a bunch of reasons why I chose this color. I mean, it doesn't show. Sweat. No, no. The question wasn't why you chose that color. You've got to let me finish. Yeah. The, qu the, the question. The question was. Did someone force you yeah, to choose? Yes. Okay. Who was that? Answer. It's, it's, it's a paradox. Yeah. It's a bunch of causes that leads up to your decision. Answer the question. What who was it? Is, who or what was it? Just every answer. Every choice you make, there's a reason for it. There's a cause for it. There's, a there's no free will. The more you yeah. ponder yeah. over it, I've already decided there's no choice. I'm not asking more. for every reason. Just for your T-shirt. Yeah. Can you yeah. please answer a simple question? Okay. Just, just focus on your. Okay. Just focus on your T-shirt. That's it. Nothing else. It was in my wardrobe. Okay. Good. Number two. Yes. Okay. Number three is one that was clean. Okay. Right. I mean, I have five or six T-shirts. None of these colors. How does that answer my question? If it was forced. I've just answered. Do you remember the question I asked you? I've just answered you. What was my question? If it's forced. Okay. Yeah. Based on your wait, wait, wait. Based on the answer you just gave me, how was it forced? Because I can't find. If I use a white T-shirt, I wish I, I wish I sweat on my shirt, for example. Okay. So. So I you only have choice of white and grey. Right. Exactly. Yeah, but you're bringing in discretion. No, no, you see, you see, you see, no you see what you have done there. You, you know what you have, what you have done there. That's the point. You have, in order to limit your answer, you have chosen only white and grey. Whereas I can tell you for a fact that I'm sure you have got more colours in your wardrobe. Pause and effect. So there you go. You see, well, if you that, cannot yeah. even be sincere in your answers to this a simple a, question, oh. then I don't think we can carry out this will, conversation. Yeah, Hashim, you, what you're saying is that if you, will, if you, if you yeah. guys are saying that I've been forced and you go to tell me, show me how no, you've been haven't. forced. No, I said he's got free will, but you have not. No, no. How is he called a free will? How? Because he, and if he doesn't believe in it, he doesn't even believe in God. If he doesn't believe for him, nothing, for him, the, nothing, the meaning. Wait, wait. For him, free will. No I don't even have any. How do you know that? No, 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 no. For him, it's already decided. Wait, wait. For him, go you and I and him as well are meaningless of our existence. That is his point of view. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's correct. Yes. So do not answer on behalf of other question, other people if you don't know their no, from their point of view. An atheist could say he has free will. Look, every atheist. Some do. Look, look, don't wrong. put every atheist in one box. In do you realize that Buddhists are atheists? They don't believe in God, but they're spiritual unlike him. Okay. So for them, they have a purpose. They have, they believe in reincarnation and so on. They believe in life after death. This atheist might not. Not every atheist right. is the I'm same. An atheist can argue for free will. But yeah, but when you say an atheist, right, no, you need to no, define no, no, which atheist. atheist and and right? Sorry, which atheist? Is it a naturalist? No, I'm saying if they wanted to, they could argue. Is it materialist, naturalist, nihilist? No, which I'm atheist? Can argue. Not, but, the, but the fundamental belief that you have, which I find crazy, yeah. as do everybody else, I think, apart from Muslims, is that <laughs> you're saying that predeterminism yes. does not violate the principle of free will. That's what you're saying, which if is you knew, utterly ludicrous. It it's no by sense. definition. Shall, shall I tell you why not? Because if you knew the the, uh, the result of this predetermination... Not me. Can I finish? Yeah. Look, if you knew the result of that predetermination, then you would have a valid point. However, because you don't know what the result of that predetermination is, all you have the option to do in this world is that you go about your daily life 
not being coerced, let me finish, not being coerced, not being forced, but to obey Allah and His Messenger. If, if you do that, then you have the promise of paradise. You, if you, if you, this promise of paradise is such that Allah says in the Quran that He doesn't go back on His promise. No, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Once you obey and not disobey Allah and His Messenger, then on the Day of Judgment, you can ask the question to Allah that why did you make a promise to me that if I do X, Y, and Z, I'll be promised paradise, but now I realize that I haven't. If that is the case, that is, if, if that is the case, that means you have been promised something and you're not being delivered that particular promise, then you would have a case on the Day of Judgment. But as far as you're concerned, as far as I'm concerned, as far as he's concerned, no one is forcing any because of us, any of us to do anything. Will. Whether you call it a delusion Nobody's or not. Nobody's talking about the delusion of free will. Is matter a delusion for you? Sorry, is what? Is this matter a delusion? No, the matter is not a delusion, but they are, the free will is a... Is your existence a delusion? No. Does your existence have a meaning? No. Then why are you worried? <laughs> not about, honestly, why is he worried? It's not about worried, it's about, about the fact decision. that you have let's a contradiction. Say, let's say, let's say... Is there a contradiction at all? Absolutely 100% a contradiction. And I read the Quran, I read the Quran, I read the Hadith, and I reject it. Will I be punished? Will you do, are you doing that by your own choice? You don't have one. No, I'm predetermined. Okay, let's you're, say, you're doing it yes, again. Yes. You're every time putting words no, in his mouth. No, Let him answer by no. himself. He's a grown man. He's quite capable of answering by himself. I, 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 okay. I, I can't it, put words I in his mouth. He doesn't okay. have free words. If you read it by, by your own choice, choice then you it. you know the what is the what is the consequence that is mentioned in the Quran? Um, um, a ton of damnation. There you go. So what's it, what, so you have answered your own question. I'm going to be punished, and yet it's free will. No, no, you're going to be punished. You said it. You're doing it by your own choice. You just said it yourself. He just said it himself that I'm doing it by my own choice. If you're doing something by my by your own choice, then you should be ready for the do consequences you as well. I don't I okay, why do you not have a choice? Tell me. Who's forcing you to do anything in this world? No one's proved free will. Who's it's forcing you? It's all being predetermined according to. That's your not the question. The question is who's forcing you? If you think it is not free will, I'm asking you why is it not free will when you don't even know the result of predetermined? Okay, maybe it's been predetermined that you both are going to paradise. Then have you got a complaint? Complain about what? We're not arguing about no, no, paradise, no. we're arguing about free will denies yeah, but, determinism. But I just asked him, was it by your choice? He said yes. Yeah, he misspoke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll let you both carry out your dis, uh, disagreement. Ashim, I think they're going in circles. The circus, delusion sir. is strong. Well, I think the delusion for you, my friend, that you are, your life is meaningless, you got to worry no, about, more about that. <laughs> you know, but the point we're making is basically it's impossible to have predetermination and punishment and then say to the person... You know, for you to do, keep saying predetermination, when you don't even know the outcome of that predetermination, no, it's quite... It's, to, know the to be frank with you, you're worried about something that you don't even know has happened to you so far. It's already been you have a choice, look, do. look, you have a choice like you said. I, by my own choice, are going to reject the Quran, okay? That was your choice, was it not? Answer. I'm not going to misspeak. I'm not going to misspeak. Oh, now you're going to go by this gentleman's <laughs> terms. No, because I Come think on, have free choice to answer at least without him telling you what you should I think. think. It, I think it's a trick question. I mean, no, it's not a trick is, question. It's a very simple is, question. Is, Are you, you being forced to do things in your life? Predetermination, yes. punishment, yes. and still say something. You don't know the, resp the answer to the predetermination. You don't know the Unless result of predetermination. You can demonstrate free will scientifically, which you cannot. Well, <laughs> first and foremost, when you're trying to use scientific method to know God, I think you're you're using the wrong right. tool. We're okay with that, but your God's all why knowing, and it's pretty. Why are you discussing? Wait a minute. Why are you discussing? Wait a minute. Why are you discussing things of metaphysics and expecting scientific method to find that out? Don't you think that is the but most? You track don't you think, yourself. Don't you think that is the worst thing you your can do book track by using you by using the wrong to tools to understand things Shame, of the you're metaphysics? You're just not going anywhere because you agreed. What? You agreed to predeterminism. Therefore, you yourself deny free will. And you're not Therefore, answering you my. Therefore, you cannot agree. And you're not answering my question for for a reason because it goes against your no, because thesis. Your question is meaningless. No, it is not meaningless. Did people force you to say things what you just it's said now? It's not about people forcing me. It's about Allah being okay, did, all knowing. Okay, did Allah force you? you wait, wait, wait. Did you Allah force you to just you say those words? You before you were born. Uh, okay, uh, 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 answer the question. Uh, Let me answer the question. Go on. It doesn't matter whether the entity that is all knowing forces me. It matters that the entity knows what I will do. Just answer the question. Have you been forced just now to say that? Yes. yes. You have been forced? Yes. Okay, define force. Gravity, everything around, all the No, forces. not that kind of force. Forcing it's the you, same force. No, the force. No, it's the same force, bro. Oh, so you're saying the, the way you speak has got something to do with gravity. And all the other forces. Answer the question. All the forces. The way you speak. All the forces. The way you speak. Yes, the way you, everything. By all the way, the do you believe consciousness exists? Yes. Yes? yes. Is that based on gravity? Uh, 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 
Why are you picking answer one? The question. Why are you picking one? Uh, you said everything. Answer. All forces. Is your consciousness determined by the gravity? Not by gravity, but all Thank forces. Thank you. I respect all, it. Now you're so what is that? What is that? All forces. All forces. forces. What, I mean by, wait, wait, force. what I meant by force. It's like not. It's not the it's physical force. It's not the physical force in that no sense. Distance, it's no. a force for you. No no your own volition. Yes. No. Your, no, he's talking about your consciousness. Your consciousness has determined right now that you speak your mind. No. For his views, you know, there's a point talking to this guy because he doesn't even know what consciousness is. No, because you don't understand okay. what you're Before saying. I, you're, tell me, you're in a paradox. Tell me what you understand by consciousness. Go on. Okay. Scientifically speaking. Okay, well, I'll give you what we, what we think we know so far, right? Yeah, go on. So we have two aspects to the brain here. So we have signals coming up from the bottom, sensory perception going into the brain. Yeah. And we have uh, predictive information coming back out of the brain. Okay. So what we think consciousness is, is that predictive process yeah. so these flight there are two different frequencies so they can be measured so there's two frequencies there's frequencies coming up from our sensors okay top, uh, bottom to top and we've got top to bottom which is our predictive uh, based on past experience coming back and we know this because we can do it tests where we can fool the brain with the senses and yet it will go with the prediction so the what brain, prediction so for instance there's a test it's a great little test I saw the other day yeah where they uh, put you have your hands on the desk okay and they, they create, they, give, they put a fake hand, so you can't see your own hand, right? So that's off to the side. Okay. And they put... Oh, the one they hit with the hammer? Well, you're coming to that, but they okay. have two hands, yeah. and they stroke your hand that you can't see, and your hand, this fake hand. Yeah. So your brain predictively thinks that this hand is your hand, mm. and when you then stab, or thump with a hammer, as you said, the fake hand, you react because you really think it's hit your real hand, and that's because your predictive consciousness feeds the truth, your truth, not your sensory perception, which is what they always believed. I mean, until like late in the 90s, they believed that it was all about sensory perception from the bottom to the top. And it's only in recent times that is they that, is, that, is that how you define consciousness? Seriously. That's what neuroscientists at the moment have got. But that's not consciousness. Uh, well, you're going to deny that. You're, you're, no, I'm not denying that. I'm giving you the best you have, we got. No, no, you have just, you have just given me an experiment of how time. your mind perceives things. No, That's all it, but that doesn't define conscious. consciousness. Ask him to define it. Okay, is consciousness material? Ask him to define it. You uh, define it. Yes, it has, a it has a material aspect, yeah. Which is what? Which, which matter is that? What we can see these, what we can do no, is... No, 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 which matter is it? What do you mean? Which matter from chemistry is it? In, in the brain. Yeah, which one is it? We can see them. Which is, is, is it a chemical? Is it a, is it, you know, matter, matter, every matter. Matter, matter yeah, matter. Yeah. Which yeah, matter yeah. is that that determines your consciousness? I don't know. Exists. Top of my head, but it says we can see it in the brain, we can, mo we can monitor it. You can, you can see consciousness? Yes, because when, oh, you can see your are, brain when people activating. are in a vegetative state, we can see completely different... I don't think you know the meaning of consciousness. You're telling me of I the activity... You're me your meaning. No, no. You're telling me about the activity of the brain. That's all you're telling me. But that's all we got. That's not what consciousness is? That's scientific. That's oh all we got. Oh my God, he doesn't know what consciousness yeah, is. Yeah, because you want to invent... No, I don't want to invent... religious consciousness. No, it's not a religious... Really, really, I'm telling you, if you think... I'm giving you my best no, no, shot If you're telling me that consciousness... you understand it. If you're telling me that consciousness is how your brain activity functions, then you don't even know what consciousness no, is. No, no. What you're saying is your definition is different. Fine. Exactly. You can have your definition. Okay, so can you give me a scientific definition that everyone agrees with of consciousness? No, that's ridiculous. Why not? Every, science defines everything. No, science defines an atom. Define if something is material, you science define defines it. it. You're saying I've got to give you a definition that everyone agrees with. <laughs> no, science, even scientists. Even scientists don't agree. Okay, so you don't have any scientists agreeing with the definition of consciousness. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of agreement, yeah. Give me one definition then, Mark. They think it's this predictive nature of the brain. Okay. That they think that that yields predict. You know, this so, prediction yields consciousness. So you're so saying that they used to believe it was to do with check, uh, checking. So brain. you're so you're telling me a child who has a brain. They're not sure about babies. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A child. I'm not talking about babies. What age is babies for you? Two years and younger? No, newborn babies. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. They're not I'm, sure. I'm talking about older than two. Right. Okay. So I'll say a toddlers. Do toddlers have consciousness? Well, this is it. There's a problem here because they can't. No, don't laugh. Because seriously, <laughs> because there's an ethical issue. You know what? We can't test. Look, look, look. We can't if test anyone tells me that, right? if anyone tells me consciousness is material, then they need to tell me what it's made of. Brain matter. I'm not asking you what your brain is made of. I'm asking no, what it's consciousness. It's made of the same things. It's in our brain. You're saying it's something. He doesn't know what consciousness is. Honestly, 